Hi guys, this is going to be version 3 of my baking powder powered boats following a little discussion with Mongrel Shark. Um, we've got two ideas going now. This is the brute force version. What I'm going to do is, same as before, a little polystyrene boat hull, 35mm camera tube. This time I'm going to drill the hole at the top so that the tube goes down to the bottom, out the top and then back down again so that this time when the pressure builds up we'll be pumping the liquid out so we'll be pushing the boat forwards with the pressure of the liquid rather than trying to push it forwards with the pressure of the air or the air bubbles. So that'll be this boat and then the next boat I'm going to do will be quite different in the way it works. Um, I won't try and explain it now, I'll explain it in the next video whenever I make it. So this one's brute force, this is pushing the boat forward with a jet of liquid forced out by the compressed CO2 gas. I keep getting comments about using vinegar and baking soda. That's a much more vigorous reaction and I don't want to do that, there's plenty of videos on that already. This is based on the old 1950s cereal box gifts that you used to get. Um, you used to get submarines that would sink and raise using baking powder and I've done a video of that already. You could also get a PT motor torpedo boat, I think they used to be called, and that was a little boat that went along with bubbles coming out behind. That's what I'm trying to emulate. This is not quite the way it works, but we'll try this anyway. Got a hole in the top using my soldering iron. And we want the tube to go to the bottom. Hot glue that in place. There we go. Pipe goes to the bottom of the container, comes out the back and points down into the water. So we'll go and try that one out in a minute. Okay guys, we're going to have another go at this baking powder boat. I've changed the design again. This is after a conversation with Mongrel Shark. He suggested having the tube come out the top of the container and going to the bottom inside so that when the carbon dioxide gas builds up pressure it actually pushes the fluid out of the tube and we have a water jet pushing the, the boat forwards. Instead of trying to push it with bubbles of air we should get more motion with a jet of water. So we'll try that some baking powder. And some water. Get the lid on. There we go, there's a good jet of water or fluid coming out the back driving the boat forwards. So that works. It's not actually what I'm trying to do but that definitely works. So thanks Mongrel Shark. Good suggestion. But I'll do another boat to try the other option. Hi guys. We're out in my conservatory, um, all that ticking noise, if I just move the camera. It's all these solar movers ticking away. It's a fairly dull day, 
but that's just to let you know what the noise is in the background. The reason we're actually out here is a bit of a side issue on my baking powder boats that I'm trying to make. This is the latest one that I've made and what I'm trying to do is get it to build up pressure inside here and blast a jet of water out of this pipe and drive the boat forwards. But I've just noticed that I actually get a siphon effect anyway without the top on. With the top on you wouldn't get the siphon effect. But if I leave the top off and fill it with water it will actually drive itself forwards. Oops, overfilled it a bit. But as you can see, the water's draining out. And that's just enough drive it forwards. So that's a, a siphon effect. It won't last for long because the water's drained out. But if I put a bigger container in there then I could have a siphon effect boat. definitely driving itself forwards and that's just the siphon effect of the water going down the <laughs> down in there siphoning out of the pipe at the back so say if I put the lid on then the siphon effect won't work and that will be the baking powder effect creating carbon dioxide gas forcing the water out the back. But that's a different video.